Hello and welcome into the video. This is video number three of our five part series, giving you information about my go wild experience in certain categories. So hopefully that can help you to decide whether or not you are going to go to go wild 2025. This will also help you if you've already decided to go maybe set a little bit of expectations and be better prepared for what you're about to experience. So let's dive into video number three where we're gonna be talking about gifts. So let me first start out by saying that if you are coming to go wild just for the gifts, you may have a problem, okay? You may run into being disappointed because what you receive, you feel is not up to what you expected, okay? So be very careful about that sort of expectation. Gifts are not included in your price of your ticket. All the gifts and swag, et cetera, that you are going to be receiving is because of the goodness the generosity that is in the hearts of both the Go Wild um, uh, sponsors and also the other community members that are going to be there also experiencing Go Wild with you. So please manage your expectations, okay? Now we're gonna jump in. These are the type of gifts that I have come across as I've been at Go Wild the past few. There might be more if I'm missing any and you know of them, please place that in the um, comment section down below. The first type of gift that we normally receive is in the badge box, okay? So when you get your ticket closer to um, the time that Go Wild needs to happen, maybe the month of, depending, um, on, you know, where it is and how early in the month or late in the month, you'll get a box that will have your badge in it. And in that box, you will also get some stickers, depending on what they're giving for that particular year. Now, that's also, of course, um, um, some, some things that if you look with your ticket, at least the one for this year, it did say that you would get a badge box, you know, with some little goodies in it. So that's the first set of gifts. So me personally, I love getting those because I also get stickers that I can use in my memory planner um, for Go Wild. Okay, so I don't have to purchase memory planner stickers specifically. Okay, so that's the first type of thing that we receive. The second type of gifts that we're going to receive is when you get to go out. Now it depends on how the llamas are behaving, okay? And the day that you come in to go out to the conference, when you get there in the lobby, <laughs> you may see a person on your way to the room, you may see a person and they just hand you something, right? There's always someone somewhere somehow handing out some sort of freebie, right? Now the freebie could be candy, the freebie could be something that you need, like this year someone handed out some um, like those clear plastic card holders and you can actually have put your badge in the card holder. Um, or something else if you wanted to put it in there. Like, you know, those little things you put your ID in. I should have brought mine with me, but I didn't. And so someone handed out like that. So practical things as well as it could be snacks, it could be water, whatever it might be. Sometimes it's stickers, sometimes it's little llamas. I mean, you will find that you get some freebies as you're going around. There were also some llamas that made, you know, like some beaded bracelets, llamas making earrings, pens. I mean, you name it and you can see people handing out or receiving things as freebies. You can also 
check the uh, uh, Facebook group for Go Wild and you'll see some of the things that people are making, right? Get examples of what they're making or purchasing. And you can get inspiration as to, well, maybe I wanna do this to give to folks. Some, they may do 50, some they may do 20, whatever is within your budget, you have to decide that for yourself. So freebies. Then another type of gift I have encountered is called swaps. And swaps really are, I give you this, and you give me that, okay? Now, some people give their swaps and it's just a freebie, but some people are serious about their swaps. If I give this to you, you better have something to give me. And I can't be mad at them because remember, this is time, effort, energy, and money, and they're here like, okay, I I'ma give to you because I want me something to go home with, okay? So sometimes you come across some swaps. Um, I've not participated in the swaps. I've, I've, I've received a good amount of the freebies as I'm walking around, um, every year. Um, but I've not participated in the swaps. I think I might do that for, um, the next go wild. Okay. If I'm present by God's grace. So I think I want to do that. You get to decide what your go out experience is going to be like. You get to decide what you want to participate in and when you want to participate in it, okay? So badge box, swaps, freebies. Um, the next thing that I've encountered is roommate gifts. This is gifts that you purchase or bring for your roommates, whoever you're going to be rooming with. The... First and second time, I believe we did do roommate gifts. Yes, we did. The third time here, we did roommate gifts as well. My roommate gift was actually tied in with another gift that I brought because my roommates were also going to be at that particular event and I wanted to give them that and it was larger. So really and truly, my gifts were smaller this year all around because of the larger purchases that I was making for this other event that I was doing um, with the gift from that event, right? So I had to make my decision on where my budget was going to go. But your roommate's gifts could be anything that you want it to be. You may know what your roommates like, and so you gift that to them. Um, I have previously gotten cloth and paper items from roomies, pens from roomies. I mean, like, let me just tell you something. You get to really show out for your roomies if you so choose to or not. As you talk to them, you get to know what kind of things they're into, maybe what type of planners they have, what type of pen pens they like. It could be something that's totally unrelated to planning, right? Just lifestyle items, food items, we like that too. So you could gift food items also, okay? Um, you choose when you give your roommates their gifts. My roommates like to give gifts like as soon as they get in. <laughs> it's like, boom, and here it is. Let's go, right? Because they're so excited about being at Go Wild. So let us know what, you know, if you do roommate gifts or not, and if you do it like as soon as all your roommates are in, or when do you do your roommate gifts? So roommate gifts are optional as well. But something to consider with roommate gifts and table mate gifts and some swaps, not swaps, but freebies. How are you going to feel if someone gives you something and you have absolutely nothing to give them back? Take that into consideration, okay? I know first timers um, who have said, oh my gosh, like I didn't know. I didn't know if I knew, if I knew I would have. None of these are required, but take into consideration how are you going to feel if you're receiving something and you have nothing to give back. And it doesn't have to be anything big, like we say. It could be something small. Um, 
but just keep that in mind and by something small i mean one person had their card had a card made with their um i think it's beth or betsy i had left the card but she had a card made and this um paper clip was clipped to, to it right and it is a um the uh, shoe uh horseshoe with a boot in it right so it was dallas it was dallas i thought that was very cute so it could be something as simple as that or some people even have candy so you decide how you're going to feel and make that decision i just wanted to put that out there roommate gifts so the next thing after roommate gifts that you might come into is going to be the sponsored table gifts this is where the drama comes in with go wild and expectations. Now, there are several sponsors every year to go wild. And this is my train of thought, my thinking, right? Let's say a particular sponsor sponsors two tables. There's 10 people to a table. That means there's only 20 people that's allowed to sit at that table. Boo, if you're not the first 20 people, <laughs> one of the first 20 people that gets on into the event, the chances of you getting what you really, really, really want is slim to none. And then you have the volunteer that's going to be sitting at your table. So that's two of those tables. So two volunteers brings it down to 18. If you're not in the first 18, you may not get to sit at that table, okay? So just be mindful that what you want may not be available to you. There are hundreds of people at Go Wild. Hundreds. So just be mindful. So my thing is just to sit at a table where I may know one person or two persons to talk to, but sit where I don't know other people. Because my goal is to get to know other people, yeah? Get to experience Go Wild with other community members um, and or maybe sit with someone who's there for the first time and need a little bit of guidance, right? But I mean, I like to sit at a different table than all my roommates. Because I'm like, if you have something that you don't want, but I want it, can I have it? If I have something from my table that I don't want, but you want it, you can have it, right? I'm just saying variety. So that's how we ap approach sponsored tables and the seating there. For the sponsored table gifts, those sponsors do, um, you know, decorate the table beautifully each and every year. Like this past year, one table had a whole candy gumball machine, a whole gumball machine. And I'm so sad because I couldn't go and... Okay, because that was at my table, a whole gumball machine, right? They do such an amazing job of flying everything in to the hotel or bringing it with them and setting up this these tables for us. So we appreciate the sponsor table gifts, okay? Um, so, but, but the sponsor table gift for me is not the highlight of the event, okay? It's not the highlight of the event. So with the sponsor table gifts, usually that happens on the Friday. So on the Friday, early in the morning, okay, that's sponsor table. The next day is usually the highlight for me. With the exception, it wasn't such a highlight last year. Uh, well, I mean, I think it was still pretty good. I think it was still pretty good. And what I mean for a highlight for me is me personally, not the what I got from other people, but what I give. Because that's the kind of person I am. I'm the kind of person that's going to be like, oh, oh, it's on. It's on. I'm that kind of a person who I want to gift and give you something that you're going to be excited for. I want to wow you like I'm a sponsor myself. You understand? But <laughs> not necessarily with planner goodies. So this year for the table mates gift, what I did was I went to Bath and Body Works. It was 
a few of my favorite things, right? So that was my theme. It was a few of my favorite things. And so I purchased a few of my favorite things and I gifted that to the table mates. So I've got a Bath and Body Works spray that was in there. One of my favorite types of pen in different colors. So that was in there. Um, I think it was like a Notique affirmation card that was in there. Uh, Biscoff cookies, get rid of program that was in there. Peppermint tea that was in there. And I'm thinking I might be missing something else that I can't remember, but those were inside of a bag. And um, yeah, those were inside of a bag. Okay. And that's what I did for this year for the table mates gifts. Um, and I loved it. I thought it was really good, really nice um, as well. So, But that was what was in my budget because of the other gift that I did. And the other gift that I did was larger. Like that was a large budget to be able to do that many of what I did. Um, and uh, And so I couldn't focus on everything else. If I wasn't doing that gift, then that gift really would have been for the table mates. But it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't. So um, for table mate gifts, um, you can bring same thing like, um, what did I say? Like freebies or whatever, roommates gifts. Think of your table mates as your roommate, right? They're going to be the ones you're sitting at the table with in that room. You can choose to sit at the same table with the same people that you did um, on the Friday, or you could choose a different table on the Saturday. I normally go with a different table because I want to meet other people, meet more people, right? So I normally choose something different. I start usually with the container, the container. What am I going to be putting these table mate gifts in? When I think about the container, I'm thinking about how is someone going to bring it home? How are they going to use it when they bring it home? Um, and stuff like that. So one year for container, I actually did the Michaels. Michaels has a like a little um, planner caddy. So I did, it was like that big. It was beautiful. Oh, it was beautiful with planner stuff. Y'all, let me just tell you something, okay? So I think that was my second year because the first year I didn't know no better. I did good the first year, but the second year I did even better. <laughs> so at least in my opinion. So, so that they could use when they get home to tote all their planner goodies. So that was the container. That was the base and the foundation and what I started with. Um, Let me show you. Like some folks used something like this. It depends on what your budget is, okay? Some folks, you got stuff in there. Oh my goodness. Some folks, you got stuff like this in there because you know how we love pouches, okay? So you get to start and decide um, what is the container. You also need to think of how you're going to get the items there. How am I going to get these items there? I'm making sure you're not crushing anything, right? How am I going to get them there? And so um, I normally start out with the base and then thinking, what else now do I want to put in here and visualizing how I want it to look in my mind and making it go that way. I start from... From the go wild, current go wild, I start at that point thinking about table mates gifts because I love doing table mate gifts. <laughs> I start from then and I start from them all, then also because of budgeting. I want to be able to purchase items on sale and be able to give the most that I can at a good price because I'm not trying to finish my budget on table mates gifts, roommates gifts. I'm not trying to finish the budget on that, but I want to still do something that I'm going to be happy with, that I'm going to be satisfied with. Okay. And that's just because of my personality, y'all. My personality is number one, it's competitive, but number two, it's I'm a gift, I'm a give to you happy. I'm a, I'm just going to give it to you happy. I love giving gifts. You, you just got to decide your personality type. Some people like, I'm just, I can't be bothered. Here's a notebook and a pen and I'll be good with that. Trust and believe. 
Tamara will be good with the gift of sticky notes. If you know that she loves sticky notes, if you give me a little bag, it don't, it, this, it don't even, it could be like half the size. You know the sticky note that's like that size sticky note? You know the big one that's like this size? Right? If you, you give me that, and it don't matter. I'm ha I am so happy because I love sticky note. It's the thought that counts that we really appreciate as table mate and just the communication and the experience and the fun that we have at the table. My table was not like a serious, serious table. Like I was absolutely inappropriate with the amount of giggling that I was doing with some people who shall be nameless. Okay, but I might tag them down below. <laughs> we we were just having such a good time at our table and that made the experience for us taking pictures like we were just we really wasn't paying attention like 60% of the time but the 40% of the time that we did pay attention it was because you know it was like oh yeah I want to get that whatever that is whatever said I want to get that so you know how your, your ears are listening but you're still playing around yeah that's how it was that's how it was so those are the main gifts that I've experienced at Go Wild. Let me review them one more time. The badge box, swaps, freebies, um, your roommate's gifts, sponsor table gifts, table mate gifts, and one more. You will get a room drop of an item. Usually it's a planner of some sort. A 2024 Go Wild, we got a... Um, Heather Kell self-care planner. I believe she sells it on her site now. So we work, we got that. Gotta appreciate, like I don't use it. I'll be gifting it to my sister because she saw it and she was like, oh my gosh, that's so nice. And I'm looking at her like, okay, okay. I'll, let me send it to you then, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, send it to my sister along with some other stuff that I got for her. So you may not use it, but you may, um, you know, gift it to someone else. And I so appreciate that because it's a blessing now to my sister who, my goodness, she definitely needs, okay, self-care um, because of all that she deals with on a regular basis. So in the comment section below, let me know about your experience or your thoughts on the different types of gifts and what you may or may not do if you're going to go wild. Are you going to go to go wild? If you want ideas for what type of things you want to get or you want to give, go on ahead and go to the Facebook group. People are posting in there the things that they're purchasing, the things that they're making, so you can get an idea of what you want to do. The, at the very least, if you're not sure what to do, bring us some snacks as table made gifts. Let me tell you, I was hungered, okay? I was hungry because I didn't even have time to eat breakfast properly before we had to go downstairs that second day. I was hungered, okay? And it was before energy break time. I was hungered. So, uh, gone ahead and bring us some snacks. Hint, hint, that is definitely something that I'm going to be packing <laughs> for the next go wild for some of my table mates, probably for both days, okay? So if you sit in with me, we're going to have some munchies, okay? Because I can't be hungry. I need some, some chips, some water, and some gum, and a cough drop, okay? And some tissue. So y'all don't be taking my idea, okay? But, but chances are, it's going to be a little baggy with all of that, because I need it. <laughs> all right, y'all. Stay tuned for the next video, which is going to be video number four. And in video number four, we're going to cover the itinerary because you think you have time, but you don't. Okay. We're going to cover the itinerary. And then in video number five, we're going to go over potential budget. Okay. So stay tuned for those. Bye-bye.